Uh, hey gang, so I got a question about one of the uh, revision questions from Moodle. Uh, so I just thought I'd go through it because it is an interesting one. Uh, when a cup of tea is left in a room at temperature 20 degrees, its rate of cooling can be modelled by T equals A times 3 to the power of BT. That little dot there is times in this case, where A and B are constant, just numbers. T is the temperature of the tea, and small t is the time in minutes after pouring. All right, so we've got a bunch of values here, time 0, 90, time 1, 85 point something, time 2, 80, etc. And the question is, determine the values for A and B, and when will the temperature be half its initial value? Uh, I'm not going to bother too much with the second bit here. I think that's pretty straightforward. You've done that before, but this bit you might struggle with a bit. Um, so, determine the values for A and B. This uh, function looks a lot like what we've done before. T equals A times B uh, to the X, let's say. But it's got another value. It's not just X, it's a BX or BT, whatever it might be. Now, A is always and is still in this equation, our initial value. So at time zero, the T's temperature is 90 degrees. So that's our initial value. So 90 times, now our B, our B, I'm doing quotation marks, um, our B value here is 3, uh, and then it's BT. All right, so that's pretty good so far, and we know that it's got a growth rate of 3, although this is not our growth rate anymore because of this funny B value here. Uh, the B value is going to change a lot of different so how can we find that B value now that we know that A is 90 and this uh, growth rate, if you like, is 3? Well, all we need to do is sub in just any one of these values. Okay, so I might sub in oh, just random. I'll pick this last one here, 472.25. So 4 is the time in minutes and 72.25 is the temperature of the coffee. Uh, B times 4 uh, and then you're just going to have to work through that to find B so uh, 72.25 divided by 90 and working through that so after that you're going to want to uh, probably take the log of both sides just keep going up here somewhere Uh, log 3, I'll just move the 4b to the front here. Okay, and then we have log 0 0.8027 divided by log 3 equals 4b, whatever that is. So that's going to give me a negative answer. That's uh, negative 0 0.2000, 4b. And then that gives me a B value of negative 0 0.2000 divided by 4, which is approximately uh, negative 0 0.05. All right, so finishing that part of the question at least, determine the values for A and B. The equation for the temperature of this T, coffee, T equals A, which is uh, 90 times... 3 to the power of negative 0 0.05 small t for time. All right, so two steps here. First of all, you want to find your initial value. That was that value here. And then once you have your initial value, that's where that happened, then you sub in a point. And it could be any point. Oh, any of these four, if you're only given one point, just use one point, uh, and then that's how you'll find your B value. All right.